So uh, what we're going to do today is because it's really important, we're going to talk through a bit more of, of this and, and tie a few loose ends together when it comes to autocorrelation. I really want to drill this in because it's so important for understanding of the dynamics of price data in general, and also then the understanding of trading and trading systems and, and automated stuff. Because without it, you know, this is the real fundamental basic idea behind a lot of systematic trading. So we really want to make sure we get a deep understanding of this. but. One of the things I want to do first is I want to show you how to perform a linear regression in Python and a linear fit so that we can get an idea of what this looks like. And then from there, I want to go into the home task and, and work on that and show you how we can do this, basically plotting the coefficients of our autocorrelated system. Okay. So. One of the things we can do, you see, we plotted a chart of all the different uh, legs and correlations. But what I want to do here is plot this again. And for the leg, I just chose leg one because this is the strongest, right? So we go leg equals one. And you see, we've got this correlation here. But the question is, what is this correlation, right? Um, we, we don't really know the correlation. Can you guess what the slope of this would be approximately? You can actually tell, but it's not easy. It's a question that involves a bit of mathematical thinking. So any idea without actually looking on the scale mm -hmm. of this chart? I mean, that's, that's a good one. I would say like 0 0.5. Yeah. Why? Because it's like going steady up in a way and uh... then it's like one and 0 0.5 up or something like that <laughs> yeah so so i said oh don't look at the axis actually look at this when we produce this these mm. autocorrelated values you see this here we've got a random number and then 0 0.5 times the previous x <laughs> so this should be our correlation approximately yeah okay mm -hmm. so so that's that's that so now there is a handy function in, in Python and in NumPy that's, this is called polyfit. So we can just uh, fit polynomials uh, to a set of data. And it's basically, uh, I just call it m equals np dot polyfit. And then what we can do is we basically have to put in x and y here. So our X and our Y is just what we had before. Mm -hmm. And in polyfit, we have to say what degree polynomial it is. And so if we do a linear fit, it's a first degree polynomial, right? It's something like AX plus B, Y equals AX plus B, right? So what we get out of it is basically the coefficients of an nth degree polynomial and when we look at the coefficients, we start with the highest degree and then go all the way to the last number, which is the intercept. So if we have a linear fit, it's AX plus B, B is the intercept mm -hmm. on the chart, right? So if we run this, see, we go M equals, so, so we can look at the M and see this here, 0 0.5. And our intercept is like minus 0 0.01. So it's a really small intercept. And so you can see that this 0 0.5 is tantalizingly close to the autocorrelation that we produced higher up, you know, when we, when we produce the autocorrelation here, this is our coefficient 0 0.5. We do the uh, linear regression and we got the 0 0.5 here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? 